I HATE YOU ALL! So many people have asked how to get into one of these, and the reason is simple. This is the hardest of the iPod classics to get into. This is a friggin' fortress. And I drag my feet doing this, cause I hate it. When I did the one terabyte video, did you notice that the seventh gem was already open? That's because I loathe opening these things. The only iPods I've ever drawn blood to was from one of these. The big problem is that it's made out of metal, whereas the plastic ones are flexible, so you know, you can really flex into these guys and will spring back in the shape. Whereas these guys don't. You bend them too far, they stay that way. And this fit is so precise. And uh, I actually recommend gloving up, and I'll tell you why. It's the same reason why I use my old iPad as a workbench. It's grippier. But these are like bars of soap when you're really trying to get into these and having a nice grippy surface really helps. Otherwise, it goes flying or like you either put a big nick in the iPod or worse, you cut yourself. <laughs> we have to use these, not just one. We got to use a whole friggin' pile of them. And please get them with this kind of stuff already wrapped around it or wrap some tape around it because these are literally knives. You know, I use these as letter openers, by the way. <laughs> and having the gloves on just gives me a little bit of extra skin to deal with these, cause I, I can't be bothered wrapping them. And the iPod we're doing all this on is this guy. I found on eBay, uh, they said it was untested, but when I plugged it in, it turns out it was just uncharged. It's actually not in bad nick for an iPod that's, you know, seemingly not been in a case and it works perfectly fine and no one's been in here so if you look at the if you look at the fit there of this guy right here's the one terabyte ipod let's just say she's had the old in out in out quite a few times and so this opens up really easily now and doesn't really close anymore whereas this is the only one i've got in the house that is like nice and pristine because you want to see me fight this thing right to the end with stupid friggin and i get the comment all the time people going oh i can open up one of these in 0.6 femtoseconds and all i gotta say is Bully for you. <laughs> Whereas with regular people, this is a nightmare. So the big scary reason why this is so hard to do is you see that seam there, right? And you figure, okay, you got to get something in there. And what a lot of us do is we just put it in there like this and then just pull up like that. No way, you will destroy this. If you get this wrong, you will. it will be impossible to open. A few spoilers here for future videos, right? But if you look at the inside of one of these, can you see these clips here? There's one there, there's one there. And what they do is they clip under these bits here. So if you just pull up on it, you've just got these metal components with nowhere to go. And look, more spoilers. More spoilers, spoilers. So what we need to do is we need to get this tool down like this to push all of these clips in and it should go pop open. Should, it should, it should. Well, I've been delaying this video for probably about two months and there's nothing left to it but to do it. Oh, jeez. Oh, you all know we're actually, okay. All right, good start, good start, good start. Good stuff. Now, this is when you cut yourself because we're going to be pushing down. What happens is your hand slips and you literally, you won't even know you've cut yourself until you see blood all over the friggin' iPod. I'm not even kidding. You just gotta wiggle it and get it right down. All right, that's one. Oh, I need a guide. Ah, more blades. Ah. Oh, hot dungarees. Oh. Hate this. Yes, yes, okay. All right, all right. Now we pull this middle one out, and now we gotta try and get the top ones. There's one right in the middle. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh! It clicked. That's good, that's good. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're getting in. Oh, sh you only need to do one side, and it will just all fall out. So, like, I'm only working on one side of this thing. In. Oh, God, I hate it when that happens. That's when you put the newbie, newbie scratches on it. Oh. Come on, Bobby. Give it up. Oh. Whoa, I just bent the tool. <laughs> oh, man, there you go. How many episodes have I done with this? And look, I've just bent it. This is no joke. <laughs> oh, this is hard work. Give it up. Oh, yes, 
Oh, I think we there, fam. I think we there. Release. Oh, it's that. It's these last guys down here. Okay. All right. Oh. Give it up, you swine. <laughs> oh, I should just pop right out. Whoa. Yes. Oh, we're in. We're in. We're in. Okay. And then move that side towards. There we go. All right. Whoo. Oh. All right, if you've gotten this far, the hard bit's over. If you want to do a full case swap on this, like, ooh, a red one on there, or a black one on there, that's easy to do. Now it's all just like screws and whatever's. Now we just need to get the battery out. Uh-huh, no one's been in here. Mm. Beauty. Oh, it's a painting spatula from painting along with Mr. Bobby Ross. It's good fun, you gotta give it a try. Ah. Uh. And I figured if I'm gonna open up this thing, I might as well put a new battery in it. It'd be nice to have like this guy for like a reference, you know, for battery tests in the future. Just have a standard one of these. I'm not pushing very hard, by the way. I'm just wiggling. Aha. Dum da dum 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 dum. We got a new one. Oh, she's all bent and oh well. Alright, look, it's the easy bit. You stick it in. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't do the double side tape. Oh, I <laughs> I burned the uh, the Chinese fake knockoff new iPod for the same reason. I nearly fell for it too. Oh, it really matters. I'm more likely opening this up again anyway. Now, don't clip it back together yet. Don't. You gotta make sure it works first. It's the rules. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey, what's on it? Of course this is on there. What'd you expect? Looking good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that. oh. <laughs> okay. Um, no All right. Only one last bit to do. Hmm. All right. I'm actually real happy with that. There you go, there's my point of entry. That's not too bad. And up there, hey, you know, honestly, that's probably the best one I've done. Yeah. And there we go. We've got a nice, fresh, sixth gen one of these. So if we do future tests and whatnot, we can do battery whatevers. So, should you have a go yourself? I, you know, sure, why not? Like, if you found it in a drawer and the only way to use it again is to put a battery in it and you don't care if whatever happens, go for it. Just know you're going to want at least three of these bladed kind of tools. Wrap them in tape, please. You, you will easily cut yourself. These could be handy too. And hey, if your iPod's already thrashed, up to heck just get some new stuff like look it's uh, elite obsolete sold me these but if you can find them more local in your area for shipping or whatever you know you can find six seventh gen front and back cases they fit both and so you can just go nuts and just have a try at opening it and then basically just put new everything on top of it well huge thanks for watching along big thanks to these patrons here um uh, I've got extra videos on there after show and such because I got a lot to say about the six sevens gens and, and maybe they're not very good things. But anyways, thanks so much. I'll see you all next time and mate. I don't, I don't even have the microphone set up at the moment. It's just to show you, get out of here. Just to show you how easy these uh, these older ones are to open up. Yeah, no, just, and, and matey, you're in, you know, and that's it. Mate. Jeez, don't pity.